Hey everybody, welcome back to another episode of Face Off Friday. This should be a good one. We've got some higher end boxes and fan favorite boxes as well, including the brand new Topps Gilded Collection, which just came out two days ago, and it's on fire right now. The boxes have doubled in price since release day. We'll talk a little bit about that, but first, I'd like to thank all of you for watching. Hit that subscribe button if you're new here. We do videos every single day, all baseball card content or baseball content. And the way this video works, it's called Face Off Friday. We take three, usually three boxes, and we open them up and we see which box is the best. Now, obviously, this box has uh, the biggest price tag. So this is the best box out of these four. And I have three different tiers here. So right here, the Gilded Collection box, when this was first released on Tom's website, it sold out like that, and it was $319. When I made my preview video just hours later, I looked around. I didn't find any on eBay or blowout cards. I did see some on Steel City for $500. Those sold out really quick as well. And now, one of these boxes sold on eBay today for $695. There's another one going right now with $645. It's up to $700 a box. It's more than doubled in two days. So this product is on fire right now. And I think the part of the reason, besides the fact that these cards are probably... The most gorgeous cards I've seen, potentially ever, you'll see if you haven't seen the preview, these cards are just amazing looking, but there is a rarity factor to these boxes. They're tough to find. Every card in the base set is numbered to 99 or less, so there's not a whole lot of these to go around, and they are going to be drying up quickly, it seems, and I think some people are speculating that these boxes will dry up and be gone soon, and then who knows, does this box reach $1,000 in a few months or a few weeks? I don't know, but we're going to open it up and see what we can find in there. We also have a triple threads box. These boxes go for around $400, a little less than $400. Um, it's always a fun rip. Sometimes you get some really great stuff in here, and sometimes you get some not so great stuff. If you saw our short from last month when I ripped a box for myself and my autograph was Kent Maeda and my relic was Josh Donaldson. And last, we have a about a $200 box. These go for a little over $200. I think $200 to $215 is what they're on eBay for. It's Panini 3 and 2, and people really like this one. I think if I had to ask people what their favorite, if I did a poll and asked people what their favorite Panini product was of the year, this would potentially be the winner, or I would expect it to finish in the top three. This is a pretty nice product. So we've got, uh, we'll call it $700, $400, and $200, altogether about $1,300 worth of product today. And I as always, I'm going to tell you which box I think is going to be the winner. Oh, man, this is going to be tough. The best box. Now, it is kind of uh, subjective here because it's most bang for your buck. I think we should have a Hall of Fame autograph in this one. I do believe Gilded Collection is going to take the day. Um, it is on fire right now. But let's start off with the lowest of the low of, of these three. It's a still a $200 box. It is going to be the Panini 3 and 2, and our sponsor for this one is going to be Richard Sasko. If you'd like to sponsor a spot like this, have one of your boxes open in a video such as this, check out our Patreon page. We sell all of our break opportunities and spots there, and we have live streams several times a week where we break cases of stuff. We'll have box wars tomorrow night. I just put those for sale tonight, so there's plenty of spots. I think there's like 10 or 11 different rounds, including a round of three and two, if you are interested in that. Also, there's Clearly Authentic this week. There's a round of uh, Archive Signature Series this week, and then there's some back from last week as well. The whole list is on Patreon. There's a link in the description. So when we open this box up, we're going to see the two hits right away the two best cards of the box, and look at this. All right, so the autograph is not uh, not all that great. It's Jake Myers, 3-2 and two auto. It is a rookie relic auto. It is number to five, so a nice low number, but not the biggest name right there. That would have been really nice to get a Hall of Fame auto instead. The relic is pretty nice. It is a five relic bat of... Frank Thomas, the big hurt right there. It is numbered out of 49. So this pack here will have, I think it's three cards, hence the name three and two, three cards in a single pack plus two slabbed up cards. Let's see what we can find here for you, Richard. Good luck. 
All right, Matt Olson's on the back. I actually pulled a really low-numbered J-Rod card out of one of these boxes not all that long ago. I think in the pre-video, there's Randy Rosa Reina numbered out of eight. We've got Taz Bradley out of 23 and a full count Matt Olson out of 150. So here's the lineup. I'm going Frank Thomas, number one. I'm going Jake Myers out of five, number two. Randy's going to go number three in this lineup. Then Taz Bradley and last... But not least is Matt Olson. Hey, there's only five cards in the box, so that made it pretty easy to choose the top five. Not the greatest box. So, Richard, we gotta get uh, we gotta get something going here in this next one. It is going to be triple threads. People like triple threads, uh, myself included. Let's see what we can find in this next one up. We may be starting a series here soon. Where I still don't know what to call it. Either Tycoon Tuesday or Big Shot Saturday or something like that, where we have the high rollers, so to speak, that rip cases, because there's folks out there that have the, you know, the wherewithal and the means to buy full cases, and they rip full cases, and um, I was thinking it would be cool if we would rip a full case for them and see what we can find in there, like a full case rip of something that I could do in about 20 to 30 minutes, like a, a whole case of triple threads would be pretty fun. All right, so here we go, Richard Sasko. He's got the triple threads and the three and two box, so let's see what we can find in this one. Looks like my pick of Gilded Collection is looking pretty good right now. I've got a 50-50 shot. There could be something great in here. Sometimes with triple threads, you pull some really good stuff. Let's check it out. The first mini box, which will have one auto and one relic. The base cards on the top are Pete Alonso and George Brett along with Freddie Freeman. The back cards are going to be Shoei Otani out of 299. That's a pretty decent one. That could end up in the five spot of our lineup, but probably not now. Bobby Witt Jr. out of 75. That's a great card. One of the top rookies in the class. Very, very good card. All right, so here we go. It's relic time. It's Buster Posey, potential future Hall of Famer with his three World Series rings. That one's numbered to 36. And now the autograph for Richard. It is going to be, oh, man, it's a triple auto from the Twins. That is nice, nice, nice. Justin Morneau, Joe Maurer, and Byron Buxton, numbered to 27. A gorgeous card there. I like that one a lot. Uh, it is, it's not a super valuable, valuable card. Like, we're not talking, like, multiple, multiple hundreds of dollars. But that's a great card, nonetheless. Joe Maurer, who could, I think he's going to be, you know what? The way things are looking, I think he'll probably get into the Hall of Fame. Not a first ballot guy, but I think he'll get in down the road. Justin Morneau is a great player as well. Not a Hall of Famer, Byron Buxton, a top player as well. So that card for me is the number one card in this spot right now. I would put that card over the Frank Thomas if we're matching up these boxes between the three and two and also the triple threads. All right, so here we go. Next up for Richard Sasko. We'll get your name back in here. I just kind of moved it off the side to clear some space because we're going to lay out the top five cards from this box. We have Bryson Stott and Ozzie Smith to start us off here along with Ted Williams as the base cards. There's Satchel Page out of 299. Then we have a Carlos Correa, number two, 259, back with the Twins. And here we go. Let's go ahead and do the relic first. It, oh, man, look at this. Richard Sasko with some triple action going on in both boxes. It is Rod Carew, Mike Trout, and Shohei Otani right there. It is an Angels triple thread relic to 18. That is an amazing card. Man, awesome card right there. So, you know what? I don't even know if this would... I feel like autos are usually worth more than relics, but this is an amazing card. You have Hall of Famer Rod Crew. Mike Trout will be a Hall of Famer if he retired today. And Shoyo Otani, although he's not played long enough to be a Hall of Famer, if he can do what he's done for 10 years, the next 10 years, he'll be in the Hall of Fame someday. Of course, he's got to keep doing what he's doing. But man, I thought, I thought, oh, we'll show this last card last because this is just going to be the relic. I could tell the last card here will be a, an autograph. I saw a sticker auto on it, but that's a great card. So now I have to figure out what's worth more, this or that. This one's out of 18, a Mike Trout, Shoei Otani, and Rod Carew. And the final card is a Kiel Badu. Nice card there out of 99. Shout out to Fuzzy. That was his favorite play. I don't know if it still is or not. I'll tell you what. I really, really like that Trout and Otani relic. It's numbered to just 18. 
so it's more rare than the autograph. Typically, autographs would be worth more, but you get a Mike Trout relic and Shohei on the same card with the Hall of Famer. I would, uh, me personally, I'm just going based off of what I would choose if someone said, go ahead and choose one card from my case. Because, uh, for whatever, I don't know why anyone would say that. Maybe they're a big fan of the channel or whatever. But I would I would choose the Trout, Otani, and Carew over this card. by, And I'd have to probably stand there for like five minutes and think about it. So the Akil Badu out of 99 will be the number three card. The number four card, actually, for me, I'm going to go with the Bobby Witt out of 75. And um, you know what? This I'm actually going to switch these two around. That Bobby Witt out of 75. Akil Badu has kind of struggled the last year and a half or so. And last but not least, we got the Buster Posey regular relic right there. Apologies to the Otani out of 299. Did not make the top five. So obviously, the clearly, uh, not clearly, but clearly, the Triple Threads box has beaten three and two. But there's one more box looming large off in the distance. It is Tom's Gilded Collection, and here it comes. Inside this box, there will be one gold-framed autograph. I opened six of these in the preview video, and every single one of those gold-framed autographs was Hall of Famers. Also, there's uh, one gilded chrome autograph in a little four-card pack. Four of the six boxes had an extra autograph in that four-card pack. It actually ended up being five cards. So we'll see if that continues. I sure hope so. So this box here is now going to go to Gavin Knight, Mr. Saturday Night Gavin Knight, who's got the most box war wins this year currently we'll see if that continues tomorrow if you'd like to go ahead and compete against gavin in a box war we'll sell those spots on patreon and let's go ahead and see what we can find in our gilded collection box just gotta hold the box can't put it down because i don't want to smash those nice triple threads cards all right so first for the first things first we have to work off this little cardboard sleeve and get this out of the way and we'll keep the box nice and intact here for Gavin. Obviously, don't know what you plan to do with the box, but we'll send you this box. It fits just barely in a padded flat rate bubble mailer for priority mail. And here we go. You'll see two packs inside. The pack on the left has four chrome cards or five. One of them will be an autograph. And these cards are absolutely gorgeous. And then here is our here's our big boy pack. There's one card inside of here, and it is likely going to be a Hall of Fame autograph. All righty, so here we go. Gavin, good luck to you. Let's see what we can find. Again, thank you very much for joining us tonight. If you love Gilded Collection, by the way, I've got a whole case of them. And um, I'm going to be putting those into, well, what's left of the a whole case. I've already, this is the seventh box, actually eighth box that I've taken from that case because I auctioned one off last night. But anyway, we'll be taking those remaining boxes and putting some of them into the Team Break Tuesday this coming week. And usually I put those Team Break Tuesday spots for sale on Sunday. So check that out if you'd like to participate. Last week I did nine rounds and they all sold out relatively really quick. So um, I would just say if, as long as you don't wait until the last minute, um, you should be able to get some spots in the Team Break Tuesday. But here we go. Take a look at this. Beautiful, beautiful card. Mookie Betts. Uh mini diamond card and every single one of these once again is going to be numbered very very nice the Mookie Betts is going to be numbered out of just 50. Next up for Gavin we've got Ozzy Smith Hall of Famer that is a base card it will be numbered to 99. Looks like unfortunately we have a four card pack we get our hopes up because of all the five card two autograph packs we had a couple days ago. Ozzy Smith beautiful card right there in Austin Meadows is going to be the autograph the Ozzy is going to be numbered out of 99 so Austin Meadows and Vladdy. The Vladdy Ray Wave. The Austin Meadows is out of 50. And the Vladdy is out of just 10. Wow, that's pretty nice. Out of 10, Vladdy. So this one may end up being the number two card. I would I would project it out to be number two. I think this one's going to be number one. But we shall see. I would put that Vladdy over the Austin Meadows. And then we'll see which box ended up being the best one. All right, here we go. Our hit. It's going to be a... Okay, that's kind of cool. It is a Hall of Fame plaque. First time seeing this one so far of a Cincinnati Red. That is going to be Barry Larkin out of 25. Beautiful card right there. Barry Larkin is a Hall of Famer. Was an MVP as well in 95. And that one, uh, I'm going to put that as number one. Slightly above the Vladdy. Although I had to think about it a little bit. So I'm going to put the Vladdy number two. Number three, I'm going to go with the Austin Meadows autograph. 
So this wasn't the greatest box of Gilded Collection. Still, you can see why people love these cards. Some people are going to be out there trying to build this uh, complete set. The base set doesn't have all that many cards in it, but it would be really, really nice. If you're going to go after a set, you could grab these singles. And I, I, You know what? I'm kind of curious now. What does a single go for? Let's take that Ozzy Smith, for example, out of 99. And by the way, a base is out of 99 in Gilded Collection. I wonder what that goes for. Is that like a... $40 card or $50 card. I would love to check it out. I don't have my laptop down here, but I might check into that later. Or you can just uh, let me know in the comments what you think. So now the big question is, oh boy, which box won? And for me, I have to think about it here. The Barry Larkin autograph was nice, but in terms of Gilded Collection, I'll just be honest with you, that might be kind of like just an average autograph. It's not anything crazy. Um... The Vlad Jr. Ray Wave is a great card out of 10, but the Bobby Witt out of 75 is kind of right there with it. The Austin Meadows and Akil Badu, kind of in about the same. I don't know, folks. It might be triple threads. It might be triple threads. I think I would have to pick, as much as I love the look of Gilded Collection and the fact that I picked them to be the best box in terms of you know this particular box, uh, obviously it's the better box overall because it's more money, but... Uh, for these particular boxes, I wanted Gilded Collection to win because it's the hot new release, but I think Triple Threads pulled one off here. I think Triple Threads was the best box of this Face Off Friday. So I'd love to know what you think in the comments. Which box did you think was the best? Obviously, 3 and 2 came up a little bit short tonight, but uh, real close between Triple Threads for Richard and Gavin Knight's Gilded Collection box. So thank you very much for watching, everybody. Hope you guys enjoyed this one. There's a new release today, but since it's already like almost 9 o'clock, I decided not to do two videos tonight. I'll do the new release tomorrow. It is the brand new 2022 Panini Prism Draft Picks. I bought a whole case of it, and it will be uh, broken tomorrow. And you know what? I should probably do an updated post on Patreon and toss that into the Saturday showdown as well because there is a ton of numbered cards in there. So maybe I'll do that a little bit later tomorrow morning at a round of that because I did, do have a whole case and there's 16 boxes in the case, so why not? So check us out on Patreon if you haven't already. We'd love to have you along there. If not, we'd love to have you along here. Just hit that subscribe button. We do videos every single day and we're live usually at least three, four times a week doing auctions or baseball card breaks. Again, we'll be live Saturday night, break it open some uh, whole bunch of cases actually, and then we'll have an auction for you on Sunday night. So thanks for watching. Have a fantastic rest of your Friday night and a great weekend. And I'll see you all tomorrow. Good night, everybody.